Hello, hello, and welcome back to Breath of the Wild. When we left off, we'd escaped the Great Plateau, and were directed by the ghost of the kingdom's dead king to seek aid in Kokoriko Village past the dueling summits. So, I, I may have mentioned this in a previous recording, I don't remember, but the dueling summits are actually uh, based off a piece of... Uh, Artwork from the original game in the series, which is a fun bit of trivia. Also, this structure right here is one I find very interesting. Because this exact shape of structure is found all over Hyrule. But I don't know what it was supposed to look like when it was fully built. I wonder, I know they made a spin off game set before the, the Calamity, kind of more or less. It's a semi canon game. I wonder if they have the fully built versions of these structures in there. Because, like, part of me wants to assume this was some kind of tower. But there's no sign of a destroyed wall section on this end. Which makes me feel like these two walls here were the only walls in the building. But then what were they for? Why, why is this building made in this fashion? It's strange. Also, uh, a fun little thing we can do if we cryonis this. You can flip it and reveal a bunch of techie bits coming out of it. Including ancient core. This crystal was made using lost technology at one time, or, or it was... At one time it was a power source for ancient machines. This item seems, valu seems very valuable to research. And ancient gears. Gary used ancient machinery despite being incredibly old, its build quality is leaps and bounds above anything built using current technology. So, it's interesting to know that even to the people from a hundred years ago, when the kingdom fell, this was ancient lost technology that these things were made out of, because they had to dig them out of the ground. So it implies that there must have been two eras of fall. Again, a case where if you play the rest of the series, you can get a bit more of an extrapolation on the details of, but like, even without having played other games, the game does such a good job of creating an, like a curiosity within you about the history of this world. Wooden bow. Um, let's drop the boca bow. All right. Um, I wanted to... Hang on, there was a monster in here, so let's be careful. No, it was in that building. I wanted to go up this way. And see what was atop this hill. Because there's clearly a cool looking structure there. Ooh! I can see a shrine. I mentioned I'm gonna start trying to play with the using the map a little bit less, because I think it'll be funner. So I'm not going to be placing a lot of pins on the map either for the same reason. The environment in this game is beautiful. By the way, I'm trying to get better about uh, never shutting up while I'm streaming in order to fill dead air. Let me know how I'm doing. <laughs> the problem is a lot of streams tend to happen when I get home from work and I'm a little exhausted. So my stream quality is directly affected by, you know... Having a job, which is big, but you know, you need a job. All right, so we got another one of these structures. Oh, hello, arm. Oh, a rock sitting in the middle of nowhere. Gee, I wonder what this could be for. Wahaha! Yahi! Yay! See, the game does such a good job of rewarding curiosity with just little things like those guys. Oh, there's that bridge we saw earlier. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna let, let chat call it. Should we go and- so- should we go where we were supposed to go and continue towards the dueling peaks to cross through the mountain valley? Or should we immediately get sidetracked and cross the giant bridge? 
What do y'all think? Ooh, eh, oh, it slipped and fell. Bridge. Immediate sidetrack. Got it. Oh, I love how you can see the remnants of what was once the road that was supposed to be used to get up here. <laughs> ADHD style. Oh, there is a enemy tree fortress there. Man, it's a shame the draw distance isn't better. Let's try and get on the cliff side above them so we can sort of get a drop on them more or less. I was gonna say I've heard good things, but that's a lie. I've heard, like, nothing about it. Let's see. Oh, e. I've seen some images of it. I haven't really been seeking them out because I don't like playing the Pokemon games, but, uh, it has looked a little empty in some of the screenshots and a little gray. Oh, no, it, it looks desaturated a little bit. A little bit of a starting move of blowing up their already existing bombs on them. Ah, oh, come on. I want to hit the... Let's try that again. Ah, oh, I can't get what I'm looking for. Let's just throw down another one of these so I have it if I need it. In a position where it can be used. Ooh, hold on. He's getting curious. Aha, fool. The bombs pr don't do a huge amount of damage, so they're not exactly the best combat tool. There we go. Alright, let's switch to a weaker bow. Ah. It can be a little hard judging the tra trajectory at times. What are you gonna do, bitches, huh? Um, so this game does level scaling more or less, where uh, the enemies scale in strength with your character based off how many spear orbs you've collected. Uh, well, amongst other things, there's actually, there's a whole formula behind it, I remember I saw. Uh, it takes into account how many enemies you've killed, how many spear orbs you've collected, uh, your progression in the main story. And a few other factors to determine how strong, how, like when to start leveling enemies. Yeah, the, there is a few exceptions in the case of a handful of like hand placed high level enemies in the game world. That where those high hand placed high level enemies will be at a certain level and will gradually grow stronger as you level up. And uh, the Great Plateau, I believe, has a cap on how strong the enemies can get, never going above a certain level. <laughs> Dumbass. I mean, yes and no. See, I have mixed feelings about that kind of system. In a game like Breath of the Wild, it's fantastic, because this game is supposed to be accessible to kids. But, like, for example, in Bethesda games, it's always bothered me, because it results in you it never feeling like there's an area that's truly dangerous. Uh, but then there's the downside to the opposite of it, to the, the having enemies be set at strength in areas. Where you get things like New Ve Fallout New Vegas, where you're just like, it, there's only one direction to ever go in if you don't want to get fucked up. I feel like the ideal system lies somewhere in the middle. 
I, I've actually always felt like the way games should do it is like, if you do an open world, start the players in the center of the map, and the further to the edge of the map you get, the stronger enemies become. That's how I think they should treat things. This bridge is very cool looking. Ooh, ooh, a pile of rocks. That means, yep. I played a lot of this game. I know what certain things mean. So that pile of rocks and that ring of rocks. This is a challenge. Ah. Exactly, another goober. Gonna be a little hard lining yourself up with this. Ah, oh, come on. There, in early gameplay designs, this game was actually gonna have another race from the series known as the Minish appear, and I almost feel like the the Minish were gonna be what the Koroks are now in the full release. Because the Minish in lore have always been these little, like, fae-like creatures that are hard to... That, that, like, are, like, hidden from normal people's vision and do all sorts of silly little things. They're supposed to be based off, like, uh... Ah, uh, oh well, we can get that on another visit. Like, Eastern European... Uh, uh, gnomes. Ye, they've only ever appeared in the one game, the Minish Cap. Ooh, we can see a new enemy type, Lizzle Foes. Let's see if we can't knock this dude down with a well-placed crit. Come on. Oh god. Okay. Uh, shit, we have very little health. What do we want to eat? Alright. Uh, yeah, the, the Lizzle Foes are very quick moving enemies. Oh, and he's gone. Shooting star. I gotta go to that shooting star. Harpoon, a fisherman's uh, tool that excels at catching large fish. His particularly sharp, sharp, uh, uh, sharp spearhead makes it a valuable weapon as well. Alright, what's in here? Zora spear. The spear. This spear is a Zora's weapon of choice. It's lighter it's lighter than it looks due to being made from special metal and is used by Zoras for both fishing and protecting their domain. Alright, what do we want to drop? I don't really use claymores. And Let's drop this. Lizzle, Lizzle Boomerang, a curved sword uh, sword favored by Lizzle foes. It can be used to attack directly or it can be thrown like a boomerang. Actually, and how much damage is it? Same as the sword. Okay, yeah, so let's keep it. It's the sword, but also has a boomerang function. Where did that shooting star land? I want to try and get it. Because you can collect shooting stars if you find them before dawn breaks.
It went off like yes, yeah, so I think it was it landed somewhere over here at the forest at the other end of the bridge. Oh come on, fuck you guys. Oh god. Actually, I should have eaten my speedy food. Oh well. All right, careful. So the actual lore of why um, skeletons appear at night comes all the way from one of the older games. It is the... Oh, that's not the... We'll, we'll get that in a moment. That's a Korok running around. Oh, where did the shooting star land? I want to get it. Hang on. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. We got it. It was next to the... I see it glowing on the ground where it landed, so it didn't land in the water anywhere. It was on the left side of the bridge in this general area, it feels like. Is that it over there? No. Let's climb up this hill and look down into this little valley here. Iron shroom. The cap of mushroom is very hard. Uh, use it when cooking to prepare a dish that increases defense. Nice. Oh god. Hang on. I, I put one of my controls down for a second while I touch something. I was clicking on something on my recording setup. I should have paid closer attention to where the star went. The stars are like the rarest loot in the game, and that's why I was so eager to try and get it. As soon as I saw it. Sunset Firefly. These fireflies glow gently in the dark. When cooked with monster parts, the compound that causes its glow results in elixir allows you to move more quietly. These bitches. This is an Octorok. Octorok tentacle, blah blah blah. I'll read that another time. I don't know if I'm gonna find the star fragment. Do you think it landed more toward the water? And I just didn't see it? Where did you see it land? Oh, come on. I don't know if I'm gonna find it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's definitely not any of those. It was next to the bridge? Are you sure? I feel like it didn't land by the bridge. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Oh, I, I caught a fish. Oh no, the sun's starting to rise, I think. Oh! Well... Second death. All right, where are we? Ah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Do, what, some of the deals. Oh, all the DLCs just triggered. All the DLCs just triggered. 
All right. Well, I don't think we're going to get that star. So let's... Yeah. <laughs> so many quest pop-ups. All right, I guess let's climb this tower. Yeah, Nintendo wasn't the best at adding in DLCs. I don't know if the star is still there after I die. These are some strong little foes. Oh god. Uh, I I don't think I I don't think he's breathing fire at me. Oh god. Uh. Let's eat this and run for our fucking lives. Apparently we can't- we aren't ready for this. But yeah, the, the- the DLCs are all like, Oh, you've heard rumors. Ha ha ha. Something in Highland Stable, something in Riverside Stable. It's a bunch of books span spawned into the world that I can read to start the DLCs. But the one I'm looking for is the one that wasn't actually DLC. This was added in later on, had to promote the release of Xenoblade. Uh, the southern sky in the middle of the largest bridge. I knew I was near one of the locations, so. Before the sun rises, I gotta get in the middle of this bridge and look south toward the sky, and I can start that thing off, so I might as well do it. Uh, south would be behind me. The southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge. Let's see if it'll appear. Come on. You hear that sound? That's the DLC thing activating. The red shooting star from the DLC. Unlike the star I saw, this one is like a scripted thing. Landing in a set spot. Yeah, since we're in the area, might as well get it. I checked this area for the other one though and it wasn't there. I like this chest design. It's very cool. Salvage headwear. Collaboration Zoom Blood Carcass. Essential gear used by a boy who seeks a sunken treasure in the Cloud Sea. A rather rare find. So, we got a special hat. More armor, but also lets us swim a little faster. What do you mean it looks silly? Hang on. I look fantastic. It's supposed to be like a diving helmet. It just like flipped backwards over my head. Oh, oh I could have caught that. I did just notice something cool over here. Yeah, no, nah, it's like a, a, it's a helmet worn around my neck. I saw something down here. What do we got here?
Yeah. Another, another leafy boy. Well, um, we're now sort of off in the middle of nowhere, so. <laughs> They're adorable. I remember one year at Comic Con, there was a guy who sold little ones that like rattled when you shook them to make the sound that they make in the game. And they had a single to scale one that they made that they were charging like $200 for. Oh shit. Yeah, there's no way I can climb up there. I just want to make my way to the other side of the bridge and shore up on the other side. This would have been a good spot to hide a secret, I think. Also, this is interesting. That implies there's an interior to these towers, to these, uh, bridge legs. I love how Link keeps activating the dive animation. Do you think there's gonna be anything inside this pillar? Let's go check. Oh god. Hold on. Okay, I think we can one more jump and then scale. Aha! A chest! What do we get? Shock arrows. Shocking. Oh. And hang on. These long flat stones. I know what this means. Hit it with stasis. And this is definitely gonna kill me. Hide. Oh. Um. Hang on. Let's try that again. If I wanted to, I could ride on this. Oh god, no. Link, get down. Jesus, fuck. Link is just like, oh, let me climb. Oh, look at his face. Oh, I wonder if those rocks have respawned now. I don't really think I have a good way to get up there, though. I'm sort of stuck in the middle of this lake right now. Almost there. I don't have any way to pilot boats right now, so I, they'd be pointless to go and try and get the boat. Oh god. Um, I can't- I can't cry always just while I'm in the water. Don't drown, Link. Oh, okay, we're fine. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, swimming slowly drains your stamina. And if you run out, you drown. Just drown that little locked rock over there. Not that you can drown an amphibious creature, but you know what I mean. Alright, hang on. E Alright. Ow. Yeah, now nah, I could tell it was an Octorok. Well, this has been a fucking adventure. <laughs> we got a necklace out of it. Let's see if we can't make that, uh... 
rock throw again, because we should have more rocks. Ooh! My first rupee! Yeah, more rocks for me to try it. Oh no, listen, it's okay. We got stuff, we advanced. And I'm gonna try for this other car car core rock again. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Ah. Come on. That's gotta be it. Fuck! Yeah! Nothing but net. All right, um, so that, this area is too dangerous for us, clearly, so I guess the game does set certain areas to higher scales and I just never noticed it. Ooh, 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 you know what that is? Jump in water there and you get another one. The Korok density, or population of Hyrule is very dense. Oh, and he refilled my stamina for me. The ground here looks very funny. It's like mossy. Oh, and you know what? Hang on. I think, yeah, we've hit the 30 minute mark. So let's get to the top of this hill and then wrap things up, huh? Dance like Link Glutes. Alright. Man, the environments in this game are so cool. Yeah. Uh, next time on Breath of the Wild, we'll continue towards the Great Plateau. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you've been enjoying this episode. Um, in the upper, er, the er, words, I'd appreciate a subscription so you can see more of my content if you've been enjoying it. In the upper left corner will be a link to the playlist of more of the Breath of the Wild series. In the upper right corner will be a playlist of something that future Brian thinks you will enjoy. Uh, in the bottom left there is a link to my most recent upload, and in the bottom right will be a video of mine that YouTube recommends to you. So, I highly recommend you go and check out my content. And I'll see all you later. Ta-ta! Love y'all.